Do you own any digital real estate? That's nonsense. Man, I'm telling you, this is the future. This is truly what one of the big agendas is. It would integrate people with technology. I love <laughs> NFTs. I've never done one. I'm not interested in it. This is fulfilling Klaus Schwab's dream. You will own nothing and you will be happy. So here's my only, this is all I'm working on because there's a whole slew of young people who are just opting out and they're moving to building parallel systems, parallel networks, which is pretty much the only thing you can do. We have all the technology, everything we need. My two projects, I bring them together, brought them together, is podcasting that is protected and Bitcoin. And, and I'm just on the Bitcoin train because I believe that my money is safer there. I'm not talking about versus the U.S. dollar, just in general. And I think that that does, I think that we will see that in our future as very, um, very protective for everything. You know, as they say, Bitcoin fixes this. If you can fix the money, which is, that's the broken part. The money system is broken. It causes the inflation. It causes the misery. It causes wars because it's linked to the, to oil. So we have to go protect all that. We used to have our own, the banks would create dollars. They were promissory notes until this Federal Reserve Act came into play. It was a takeover. That's what Kennedy was talking about. The, the power that, that is unspoken by man. It's, it's this banking system. Yeah, and uh, I have a lot of hope for cryptocurrencies. I really do. I don't know too much about them, but Bitcoin seems to be the one in the Ethereum, the ones that the people who are in the know talk about the most. And my point is that what we're seeing right now, it's either going to go one way or the other. It's either going to fall apart completely or we're going to use this as an opportunity to right the ship and come up with a better way to live our lives. It's, one, it's going to be one of the other. The, fun, the fundamental difference, just so I say it, because otherwise people beat me up, the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum is Bitcoin, there will only be 21 million. It cannot be changed. It cannot be inflated. You cannot say the same for Ethereum. Oh, okay. That's, that's the main difference. Also, there's no CEO of, of Bitcoin. Oh, there's a CEO of Ethereum? Well, there's, there's, if you look at the history of it, Eventually it's changes be can the be made. And that's going to be a problem. Well, once, I mean, once someone becomes you know, king of the metaverse. Interesting. I, I love <laughs> NFTs. I've never done one. I'm not interested in it, but you kind of know how that works. We're, you know, That's one from Beeple. Well, there you go. Yeah. It, this is fulfilling Klaus Schwab's dream. Is it? Yes. You will own nothing and you will be happy. <laughs> these entertainment companies, they, they're doing so much money in these NFTs mm. on, you know, their the intellectual property that they already have, you know, just even uh, was it uh, Brian Cox, you know, the guy from Sure. Uh, yeah, he's doing an NFT. He is? I'm not allowed to say what it is, but yeah. <laughs> Lamborghini is making an NFT. Oh. The physical company. Why not? Get those dummies to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, now in the in the dream of the metaverse, the Silicon Valley controlled metaverse, NFT is going to be very very important. Whatever the, the the meta coin will be, and then you have really more the Ethereum crowd who are building their own decentralized metaverse. But there, when you you know you have a cool outfit that is one of a kind, and you can trade it with someone, and you know you do that through an NFT. That's a very valid reason if you're into that. Do you think the future will be companies will come up with a coin? And then you have to purchase uh, the company's products with that coin. People, like, say, if Apple came up with its own coin, they seem to be one of the few companies that could easily do that, right? If they decided uh, to have an Apple coin, no, and that's, you'd buy all mm, Apple products with an Apple with Apple phones, no, Apple iMacs, and no, you just invest no, in. What, no, what do you mean? No, hold please. I'm going to tell let you me, what it hold, is. Hold please. Let me finish. The, you let people invest in being a part of the company, so you buy coins. And through those coins, you can buy products and you can invest a certain amount and the coins go up. You actually make money. The coins go down. You lose money. And as the company keeps doing better, it's almost like a, an, another version of stocks or something. And you buy it all through that. Is that possible? That's kind of what Facebook wanted. Really? And, yeah. Facebook had the, the Libra and it was all set up. And then uh, the U.S. government intervened and said no, because that would become that could easily become the default currency overnight. Facebook does all this local commerce. They own the classified market. They own the real economy. You know, the small mom and pops, they own that, which is why everyone hates them, especially the news people. 
because they're taking their salaries. They're taking their money away. Newspapers. Oh, my God. Now, anyway, that's not the plan. The plan is the central bank digital currency. You will have crypto. You will have a digital wallet. It will be directly from the Federal Reserve to you. Um. And there will be no little retail banking. That just won't happen anymore. All and, online. Of course. Even, no more brick and mortar in 50 years? I mean, no, no. You'll, you, you just use it like you, you use Venmo now. You use it the same way, only be connected to the Federal Reserve, to the central bank. Now you've been completely morphed into where mm. they want you to be because then they fully control you. Right. But do you think there'll be retail stores? You think there'll be retail, right? Well, if you believe the... Uh, in the metaverse that Neil Stevenson wrote about in Snow Crash, which uh, I read, actually I had, I had metaverse.com for a, a long, long time. Is that the Snow Crash? That's not, that's not that film. Isn't there a film called Snow Crash? Snow Piercer. That is Snow. No, no, Thank Snow you. Crash. Thank I don't you. think it's ever. Been, you, I, I would hate for it to be filmed. The only thing left in in meat space once we live in the metaverse, is, yep, <sighs> is is Domino's pizza delivery and, and uh, FedEx and hoverboards. That's all that's left. In that order? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> in pretty the much. meat space. I love that, too. Yeah, yeah the pretty meat much. space. Yeah. But, you know, there's, I think there's a, a real possibility that – how about this, just for a scenario? You know, you're already in the gaming world. You kind of love it. You know, you got, got the goggles on. It's augmented reality. It's virtual reality. Now, maybe I can get a gig. You know, maybe I can put on a glove and do this and operate a robot. You know, remotely in a factory somewhere, or maybe I can train artificial intelligence, basically training to get rid of me. You know, these are all things that I believe is where Silicon Valley wants to take us. Could you imagine if that was a thing where you got a job in the metaverse and through the metaverse you were making things at a factory in a real Oh, that's place. going to happen. Oh, for sure. Come for on, sure, man. Elon's right? already jacking into your brain. Of course this is going to happen. This but is transhumanism. This is, this is truly what one of the big agendas is. It would integrate people with technology. Do you own any digital real estate? I'm going to ask you again. What I mean, I know you, you have mean, like a house and everything. Real estate. What Meaning does that mean? You don't. It's real estate in the metaverse. Like owning, you own it. It's real estate. I don't understand. You're such a boomer. You need to own digital real estate, Joe. Oh my God! Snoop Dogg paid four hundred fifty thousand dollars to be Snoop Dogg's metaverse. Well, someone paid four hundred fifty thousand dollars to be Snoop Dogg's metaverse neighbor. Wow, he's now a resident of the sandbox metaverse. He, in 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 twenty years. You're not going to be able to go outside because of the climate. So you're going to spend most of your time <laughs> in a pod, and you're going to live online. Your oh NFTs are going to be your precious art, and you're going to live in the metaverse in digital real estate. So is Snoop making all that money? Like if it's $458,000 for to be his neighbor, is that... His money now? No, no it's just no. like when, when a celebrity moves okay. into a building, people want to live in it. Okay, good question now. So who gets that money? Where's that money? The, the person who owned the land. That's nonsense. What do you mean? <sighs> So each of those little blocks are for sale. What? And essentially, see, it says like on sale. Like that's you, a bigger block. That's like nine blocks together. You that's could like an start acre. on the metaverse. You could start a Rogan land where nobody has to take a vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> but this isn't even Think real about life. That. I'm so this confused. This right, so, real life. It's so what real life's becoming. What, what's happening in that, Joe? Oh just like God. for something you might understand, which is sort of showed right there, that very beginning part. What can happen in the sandbox is like Roblox. So you can develop a game in your space and people can come play it and then they can give you money to play it or hang out or watch the concert you're hosting. What if you or, own, you could start your own country essentially in the metaverse, buy up all this digital real estate. And then what if Gavin Newsom ran for governor of it, won and destroyed it? No, but you got to get involved in this, man. I'm telling you. This is the future. Like, yeah, Atari is in, invested in here. This is Snoop's little plot down here, but this, all these green areas are I'm owned by other people. I'm getting the plot. So you have a this, plot? this is where? What is this? This would be the sandbox metaverse. So there's med metaverses? There'll be oh, the yeah, Facebook yeah, yeah. metaverse? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure there's a ton of metaverses. You can't afford to be in certain metaverses. Certain metaverses mm. you can. Mm -hmm. Which one could I not afford to be in? Not you specifically, but I'm talking about regular people like myself. I don't know that I could afford this metaverse. But I'm so, going to start in another metaverse and work hard. If you got. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> the country's over. Have a little fun.